under 30 and looking for the best way to save money to buy a house? If you're like many people these days, you have the desire to buy a house, but despair of ever getting enough money together for a deposit. I was talking to someone the other day who was in exactly this situation. She said her and her husband are saving everything they can, and in five years, they expect to have enough for a house deposit. I asked her what she thought that house deposit would be and what sort of house it would get her. She said that if they saved $200 a week, in five years they would have saved $52,000 and they already had $11,000, which would mean a deposit of $50,000 in five years. If this was a 10% deposit, that would mean they could afford a $600,000 to $650,000 house. Currently, the median price of a house in Melbourne is $652,500. So that would be the range of being able to afford a house without any worries. I then asked her what she thought the price of houses would be in five years, given that the price of houses on average doubles every 10 years. This would make the price of a house closer to eight hundred to 900000 which would mean they would no longer have enough for a deposit. Also, if you take into account inflation and the decreasing purchasing power of your dollar, you'd even be even further behind. I then told her about carrot bars and how so many people are using carrot bars to buy gold on a regular weekly or monthly savings plan. Just that you're saving your money into gold rather than declining paper dollars in the bank. I asked her if she thought the amount of gold she had saved in five years would be worth more or her dollars in the bank. Without hesitation, she said gold. The price of gold will fluctuate as it's market-based and it can go up or down on any given day. However, over time, the price of gold has always gone up. By comparison, the purchasing power of your dollar will only go one way, down. There has never been a fiat currency in the history of the world whose purchasing power has gone up over time. Over the last five years, the price of gold has gone from $900 in 2009 to around current price of about $1,300, which is an average increase of 28%. More than half of this time, gold has actually been above the current price. If you go back 10 years, where the price of gold in 2004 was only $400, the increase over the 10 year period is actually 214%. By comparison, I don't think anyone would say that your dollar today buys more than it did five or ten years ago. It was at this point that the penny dropped for my friend and she asked me how she could do what I was doing and start her own gold savings plan. She could save the same amount she was now, but she could be saving three grams of gold a week for only ten dollars more than she was currently paying. And in five years, she would have 780 grams of gold, which at today's rate would be about $54,600. But if gold only went up by the same rate as it had over the last five years, which was 28%, her gold would be worth $152,000. And this would be a much healthier deposit for a house. Of course, Given that the price of gold is being kept artificially low at the moment in an effort to prevent a larger financial crisis than the one of 2009, the chances of gold increasing at a much faster rate in the next few years is extremely high. If you would like to save for your own house and want your money to be worth more in five years' time than it is today, join with us and start your own gold savings plan with carrot bars. Just go to buyingyourfirsthomewithgold.com and get, put your email address in and we'll send you some information on this fantastic way of saving the deposit for your own home.